you, my friend. You know you do things for the I'm coming to rescue you. What's up, guys? Matthew Balint here. Thought I was gonna say Matt the Funny Man. Uh, no, seriously. Welcome to another Behind the Cam. Matt Behind the Cam. However, I titled it. I haven't done one in a while. This is when I would like to tell you because I'm pretty sure you guys are either probably wondering or you don't care, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Type the things. Types of things. I would like to tell you how the Jedi Kid, aka Ron Johnson, or vice versa, was created. Now, the story begins back when I was maybe about 15, 14. This is probably going to sound weird because you probably have heard this from Family Guy if you watch Family Guy. I used to have a bunch of cassettes in a big boombox. Because it was inside my mother's computer room back at the old apartment I used. Not the last one, but the, like an old apartment before I moved into this neighborhood. And she had a big karaoke machine. Two chairs and two mics. You know, standing like right next to each other. And for entertainment, I used to make up random radio shows and record myself. And then I record it, then I play it for like, you know, friends or anyone else. Pretty much anyone who doesn't mind me saying the F word a whole bunch of times. Like it's fuck, 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 fuck for 30 minutes. Fuck, 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 shit, 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 pussy tits, ass, all that. So, I used to do that and I was the radio DJ and Ron Johnson was the co-host. So, throughout the whole radio show, it's pretty much 30 to 40 minutes of me and Ron going back and forth arguing about dumb shit. Like, dude, you're ugly. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. You're ugly. I'm like, well, yeah, your mother. He'll be like, oh, okay. He's pretty much my sidekick. He's the guy, like, I'm supposed to be the smart one and he's supposed to be the dumb one. Where I came up with the name Ron Johnson, I don't know. I just... He just seemed like that kind of guy named Ron. But yeah, he was... I could say he's one of my first original characters that I first created. So... Moving on to YouTube. When I first... I forgot what the first video Ron was in. I think it was Matt's what uh, WTF moment, I believe, or Matt jerking, one of the two. I don't remember which one. The reason why um, I chose him to wear all blue is because he has a blue lightsaber. So why not? I nicknamed I nicknamed him the Jedi Kid, is because. Because originally with the radio shows, his name was Ron Johnson. Jedi Kid was, wasn't was his nickname yet. But when I came onto YouTube, I named him the Jedi Kid. Because he's supposed to be a 25-year-old in love with Star Wars. Which I am. Except I'm not 25, I'm 22. But I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take that personality, well not personality, but that love and turn it into a person. So that's how the Jedi Kid was, you know, added to Ron Johnson. Because Ron Johnson, he's a guy who, who who thinks he knows everything, but he's not, and he's gonna need to make sure with everybody before he claims that he knows everything. You know? No. Of course, you should already know by now, his catchphrase is, Oh. Hey dude. 
a lot of people. Originally, I didn't think that was going to be his catchphrase, but then a lot of people told me he was funny when he did that. So that's when I just decided to make it his catchphrase. But the Jedi Kid's been around for a very, very long time. It's probably one of the first original voices because back when I was younger, I always wanted to change my voice because I loved people that did impressions and stuff. So, how I came up with the voice, I don't know. I just randomly one day talked and was like, hey, ha, ha. Because when I was younger, I used to have like a really high, like, those of you that have heard me laugh before, I used to laugh higher pitch because my voice used to be higher. So when I would laugh, I'd be like, ha, 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 So then I focused on that, and then, ha, 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 then he just turned into a voice. You know what I mean? Like this? Don't even care, dude. Yeah, let's see, Ron Johnson, he, he's from, I don't even know, I can't, I didn't really think about his hometown. I never really got started because, I don't know. I never thought, you know, Ron would make it that far, but to be honest, besides Raggedy Draws, Jedi Kid is probably the second most popular character out of all of them I thought of, or made up. But um, I could say that the Jedi Kid is one of my personal favorites. And not to mention, his voice is probably the easiest to do. Like, I could I could talk like this all day and not even have a problem with it, dude. Seriously. I mean, if you don't think I could do this all day, then uh, you got another thing coming. But at any rate. And why does he always carry a lightsaber? Uh, I figured it got to the point to where... He was such a huge fan of Star Wars, he wants to train to become a Jedi. That's going to be his whole concept, is that he's going to one day become a Jedi Master and go off and fight evil. Have I plan have am I planning a video for that? Sure, when the time comes, or if I can think of, like, of any jokes, or, you know, have, have him, maybe I'll dress like Darth Vader, or have someone else I know dress up like Darth Vader, and they battle to the death. You know? Like, this is what I've been dreaming of! <laughs> you know? So, I mean, it's something nice to think about. It's something nice I would love to do. When I can get my resources, I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. But Ron Johnson, you love him, or you hate him, nah, you gotta love him. But Ron is probably, I'm really happy that the fact I made him up, I'm very proud of him. Oh, thanks, dude. Shut up. Okay. So, and will he be featured in more videos? Of course. Just need to think some damn ideas. But at the end of the day, Ron, love you forever even though you don't exist and no I'm not gay for you either that's pretty gay <laughs> but I would like to thank you for those who are interested in my characters I appreciate it see you next behind the cam